Hello everyone. I'm going to share with you some conclusion regarding the limit of this kind where you see a rational expression and the point of limit discussion is 0, 0 and you will observe that when you put the 0, 0 value you get a 0 by 0 form and it's a function uh, not defined at that point. In this case what will be the limit of such expressions? There is always uh, some doubt that whether limit exists or not. So there are some observations which with the help of those observations at least you will get in clue that whether limit exists or not. The first one is if you observe that the expression in the numerator degree is less than the expression in the denominator. Means either you find out the directly from the question the degree is less than or uh, it is uh, no, equal to or there might be some path which you substitute and then get a equal to or uh, less than both way you 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 can find out this uh, conclusion in that case you can directly assume that limit will always does not exist now if degree is more now when you see the upper expression by substitution whatever you perform you see that the degree is more means there are more powers and your denominator is having less then uh, there is a chance that limit will exist or it may not exist so when i'll discuss some question under this situation we'll share with you some more uh, conclusion which will help you to find the answer let's see some example uh, one by one if you see in my uh, first example here i have taken limit of x upon x square plus y square now see what happened here it is of degree one and x square plus y square degree so here degree is less than the denominator so if i were and, and you see the point is zero zero so i got a clue what clue i got i can get a clue that in my this current question limit will does not exist how let's see how i can with so surety i am saying you people that limit does not exist why because when you uh, for that now you have to substitute a path since the x square plus y square is there so i'm going to fix something so here i'm going to fix y is equals to mx so that and then x tending towards zero so that the expression will be x square plus m square x square and then limit x tending towards zero and you will observe that here one x will get in the denominator it will left and uh, when you tend it equals to 0 what happened there is x upon 1 plus m square and when you say x tending towards 0 this will tends towards infinity so limit is not finite so every time when you see such kind of question wherein the denominator has some more powers whatever path you put put whether you put y is equals to mx or x square or any other path you will observe that every time some x or y will uh, turn up in the denominator and when you put the limit after simplification you definitely get an infinity so that is a one clue number one you see here in second question what i have taken x minus y whole square upon x square plus y square when you see the upper expression the degree is two when you see the lower expression degree is also true so here the degree is same so when degree is same again i have given you that clue that limit will not exist so i am with surety tell you that limit does not exist now how i can say limit does not exist i am also sharing with you the procedure but uh, if you only have to find out that whether it will exist or not so with this this kind of observation or this kind of some conclusion are enough to get the answer so here I'll put y is equals to mx because uh, if you want to put y is equals to mx it will be x square x square and you add and you get some kind of uh, expression simplification will happen so limit x minus mx this will be square and x square plus x square m square x tending towards 0 x square will get common out of it and here x square also comes common out of that in the denominator expression and x square x square will get cancelled when you put the limit you get a 1 minus m whole square 1 plus m square which is m dependent limit so path dependent limit not unique so what do we say in that case we always say limit does not exist right 
so uh, you can see that with with the before solving i have given you the answer now come up with the sec this case case number third here i am having x y in the numerator and denominator is x minus 1 now what happened numerator more because it is 1 plus 1 when you see the total degrees 2 denominator you have to see separately it is 1 so let let let's go back and i want to share here what what are the further observation here the limit may or may not exist now you have to see one more point if in this case you will find out that there exist one path or there exists at least one path where the denominator gets zero but numerator is not zero then limit will not exist because denominator will turn to zero and anything upon zero become infinity so you see this uh, expression here x minus y is the denominator now you know when x minus y equals to zero when x is equals to y so i got a one path i know that if i pick this particular path this expression denominator gets zero when denominator gets zero numerator will be not zero and anything upon zero will turn up to the infinity so what you are doing you will say along along because there is a question mark i don't know whether limit exists or not so along y is equals to x what happened y is equals to x i write on x square y is equals to x means zero and you are saying limit x tending towards zero so this will anything upon zero is what infinity so limit does not exist so whenever a power of the numerator is more sometimes question will give you the answer sometimes it will not give you the answer sometimes limit uh, does not exist and sometimes limit exists you can see this question fifth question what happened here not fifth this is the sixth fourth question right question number four so what happened here x square y square that is degree four x cube y cube degree three this is more when it is more then i have a question in my mind what is a question limit may exist limit may not exist so next step is that you have to find out what happened in the denominator is there any path which can make only denominator zero when you see x cube plus y cube and you know x cube plus y cube is zero when you are putting y is equals to minus x <clears throat> now when y is equals to minus x i got a path along y is equals to minus x what happened you can put limit x square you can put minus x square and you can put here x cube you can put here plus minus x cube so what happened this will be x4 this will be x cube minus x cube what is x cube minus x cube x cube minus x cube is zero so what happened again the previous kind of situation arises here i am having anything upon zero so what do you say tending towards infinity not finite what finite means limit does not exist that is the case right so you are observing that in my both cases i got that limit does not exist though the numerator is more now let's see the ex example number fifth the fifth question example number fifth here is a x y x minus y if you if you rewrite it what happened this will be x square times y minus this will be x y square and you are having x square plus y square then you are finding limit when x tending towards zero y tending towards zero now when i see the degree of this expression is three degree of this expression is two three is more numerator is more question mark may or may not exist now what you will do uh, you have to find out whether this x square y square will get zero i know that in the previous cases what happened the denominator was x minus y i know when x is equals to y along this straight line this will get zero here x cube plus y cube i know that it will get zero when x is equals to uh, y is equals to minus x you can in or y is equals to uh, x is equals to minus y you can take 
So in that case, I got a clearly one path which will turn up with the infinity output and tending towards the infinity. So limit does not exist is achieved. Now in this case, I know that um, x square plus y square will only get 0 when x is 0, y is 0. There is only one point when it turn up to be 0. There is no other path around origin where it can get 0. So I have gotten an idea. That's why I have written here. I want you people to, th these are some observation based and every time these observation work. Like if you see you no know such situation arises then limit will exist in case 2. If you don't find that denominator is getting 0, so limit will exist. Uh, so uh, here I know limit exists. So I am gi giving you a answer that limit exists. Now what is the limit here? Uh, there are various ways we can use a delta epsilon or we can use a here a polar form. What you can do is let us do by polar form. Put x is equals to r cos theta put y is equals to r sin theta and x square plus y square is equals to r square means whenever you see even the previous question which i solved with you people about y is equals to mx uh, at origin if you see the denominator x square plus y square you can make use of this polar form substitution because with the help of polar form your limit will talk about r tendings towards zero so here r will tends towards zero when x and y tends towards zero so let's see what happened in case of evaluation part. Here I'll say r tending towards 0 divided by x square plus y square is r square. Let me put here. When you when you simplify, what do you get? You get here. Uh, I'm taking this is r square. This is x is equals to cos square theta. This is r sine theta minus this is r cos theta this is r square sine theta so let's see after simplification what happened after simplification uh, r cube will uh, be common so when r cube is common i am having cos square theta sine theta minus cos theta uh, here it is square so cos theta sine square theta it is the numerator and denominator is r square and limit turns up to be uh, that will goes to 0 so here r square will get cancelled i have left with r so here limit r tendings to the 0 r times this same expression you can write on everything same here so when when you write on this expression so when you when you put the limit you are getting 0 into anything is 0 now what you are observing in if you want to apply a polar form in that case, uh, your limit will talk about r tending towards 0. What you need to remember is, it, if your limit should be independent of uh, theta. Limit is independent of uh, independent of theta. So limit exists. And is equals to this value. This is the limit here. Limit is zero. So in this case, you are you have seen that in all my questions, a uh, here the first two question we have seen that the degree are more in the denominator or equal to the numerator and denominator. Uh, that limit does not act. But but when numerator has a more power, then sometimes it is acting as a limit existence. Sometimes does not exist. So I think. If you have understood this uh, one clue that you have to focus in in particularly this last case you have to focus over the denominator if you have to figure out means figure out that path where denominator gets zero only denominator so if you can figure out easily question can be done like remember that there is a one more observation whenever denominator is sum of positive square when you have a denominator there is a sum and there is a, a positive power okay positive power summation sign you definitely get uh, that there should not be getting zero but if you have a odd power or a, a, a sum of odd power or a difference of odd power or a difference of even power in all such cases you will get it a path where it gets zero so these are some clues uh, i think you would have understood that thank you